Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So today I'm finally reviewing Senjutsu and I know it's been like two months or something, maybe more since it's come out. I had to listen to these songs a few times to really for, for them to really click with me and that's why I was really hesitant to review them at first, you know, just kind of based off my first impressions, I guess, because, you know, I felt like I won't have a lot of positive things to say, or at least not a lot of positive things in comparison to the rest of their discography. But my feelings have changed a little bit since the initial listening of the album. So I'm going to go song by song, and of course the first one is the title track. I have to say that I like the verses and basically anything else more than the chorus. It kind of goes on for like, like maybe a minute too long. Um, especially the middle section could have been edited down a little bit. Someone in the forum, Maiden fans, said that the chorus is a little too melodic for the rest of the song and that's kind of, I think that's probably the problem that I heard with it. And also another thing is I have to say that I was a little bit disappointed in how little Senjutsu there is in this song, you know, um, because the lyrics seem to be about you know, some vague war happening probably in China. The artwork is obviously more Japanese, right? It is dressed as a samurai and you know the Japanese writing on and all that, you know, in the word Senjutsu, obviously. You know, like what about the samurai? I mean, what happened to the whole thing about, you know, the katana, the, the armor, the seppuku, you know, the seppuku? Um, what happened to, to that, you know? Unless I missed something, I don't know, but... The point is that, you know, I just, that song was kind of a, a letdown overall for me. But I do like the, you know, the intro most, and I guess I could say that, you know, most of the song I do enjoy. And, you know, there's nothing to dislike about the song overall, of course, either way. Um, even the chorus, I there's nothing really here or even in any of these songs that I would go out of my way to say that is bad. It's just that there are songs that are great and then there's songs that are just, good. The second one is Stratego and that had to grow in, on me a lot. This one is kind of like the opposite of the first one in the sense that I do like the verses the least um, and I kind of do prefer the chorus here partly because I don't really love the melody going on there and I feel like a lot of these songs um, you can barely hear Bruce as he's singing, you know, like it's he's kind of competing with the lead guitar especially. But I think it's especially present or especially detrimental, I guess, in Stratego. Third one, of course, is write, the writing on the wall. And this one is probably my favorite or maybe second favorite, or at least it's like top three among the songs in this album. Um, it both in musical and lyrical terms. Musically, I think it's just different from I don't know, it's a bit, it's doing something different, you know? I think that the sort of westerny or should, I guess country sounding um, part at the beginning, you know, the intro is something that kind of caught me off guard the first time that I listened to it. And it has some of that energy that I think some of the songs of their later albums have been kind of missing in the sense that they feel a bit more monotone sometimes. And this one does feel like it was made, you know, very, very purposefully. Number four is Lost in a Lost World. And this is probably a sales one for me. Not sure that I would say that it's, you know, disappointing. But I feel like the first part or maybe just the intro made me really excited for the rest of the song. And then it didn't really do anything. Um, like it didn't really, you know, get much better than the first part or the intro. Or the first third or so and it goes on for at least a couple of minutes too long um, if I'm being honest and also the pre-chorus I think it is does this thing where the guitar and the voice are making the same melody and the guitar is a little bit annoying there the lead guitar is like you know it's just a little bit unnecessary or at least it's louder than it really needed to be okay listen um looking back i think i was just being a little overly critical of this song while editing i listened to this song again and i'm like you know what no like i actually love this song yes it is a little bit too long and i don't love the pre-chorus and the thing that it does but honestly i actually do love everything else about it okay like most of the lyrics um most of the melodies that i hear i mean i like it a lot you know and like i said i like the intro a lot and you know it's just different and I like it a lot so I would say it's one of my favorites in this album. So Days of Future Past um, in musical and you know instrumental terms I would say it's probably my favorite song maybe in the album um, and this is one where I actually like the chorus a bit more than the rest 
which is of course good because you're gonna hear more obviously. I feel like I don't have much to say about this one precisely because I like it a lot. I can't explain why. I think this one, even though I do like it a lot, I have to say that it does, you know, it just kind of sounds like them. It sounds like an Iron Maiden song, you know? I don't know. Um, I think it's, I guess, what a lot of people expect um, and what a lot of fans like, obviously. And, you know, I am a more, I don't know, I'm one of those Maiden fans, I guess, that you know, I really appreciate their different and experimental things. Like, I I really like The X Factor, for example. Um, and I even like Virtual Eleven, you know. I like when they do something different. But of course, when it comes to me, you know, choosing my favorite albums by them, they kind of are their classic, more representative albums, right? But, you know, it's not really a, um, a bad thing, obviously, sometimes. Um, for artists to just kind of give you what you expect of them. I mean, that's pretty much what they are often cornered to do. You know, a lot of people, when an artist changes their sound, they're like, they suck now. And a lot of people, when an artist doesn't change their sound ever, they say that they're stale and other albums sound the same. So I do appreciate songs like this that are just kind of like trying to emulate their, you know, classic air, I guess. Um, which I do think that this of Future Pass is a little bit like that. Next is The Time Machine, which is probably my least favorite in the album. A lot of people seem to not favor it. It's a lot of self-plagiarizing. Um, it's just... and also it just feels very standard. The intro immediately reminded me of The Talisman. A lot of people have said that as well. Um, and the riff, the first time I heard that one, I said... Uh, that definitely sounds like something that they have done before, but I didn't really remember the exact song. And someone in the forum said that it was the Edge of Darkness and it actually sounds exactly the same. And I think that even the lyrics, um, something that Harris does, I think, sometimes a little too much is that he is so, so vague uh, um, in his lyrics that he kind of like never really narrates or describes anything really. For example, he writes, you can't imagine what I've seen and done, right? Like, what have you seen and done, you know? Why is that not part of the lyrics? It's like you're hinting at some story, you know, but the story doesn't actually ever happen. So, Darkest Hour, I do feel like this same type of mood and style of a song has been made by them before and better. I think this one is maybe a little bit monotone um, and it is a little bit longer than it needs to be. I don't have too much, too many negative things to say about this one. Um, I think it's one of the better ones, but also not an extremely impressive one when we're talking about, you know, the kind of songs that they have made before this. So I just realized that I forgot to mention Death of the Celts. Um, I love the intro very much. I didn't even find it too long. Some people said they did. I don't know, maybe I have more of a tolerance for you know, those soft intros, I have a soft spot for them. Um, that instrumental section in the middle is what bothered me at first, but now I'm kind of seeing it, you know, just part of the song. I think it could have been edited down that one part just a bit. But again, I love the intro, I like the verses, um, the lyrics for the most part, and I really love the chorus and Bruce's performance. That song just has that energy that I was talking about um, a little while ago, and I love the changes in tempo and you know it seems like the mood itself changes a lot throughout the song and it keeps a cohesion even though it has all of these changes going on so this is definitely one of the best ones so i know i've been complaining a lot about the length of songs and i don't hate necessarily when songs are long right it's just that i think that they sometimes need to justify their own length and i don't think that the parchment necessarily does that i do I like the main riff, I like the outro, um, and I like the way it ends as well before the outro when Bruce is singing Meet Me There. Um, that part is really, I don't know, it took me by surprise and I especially like to mostly listen to the song to hear that part again um, because obviously it has more intensity after you have listened to to most of the, of the song, right? But again, it also does that thing where the voice and the um, lead guitar making the same melody and they're kind of competing with each other which wouldn't be that much of an issue if the lead guitar wasn't made to be that much louder 
or rather his voice wasn't that much quieter in comparison like they're trying to be the same volume but I still consider it to be a pretty exciting track some parts more than others and Harris in this one is also doing that um, writing style thing where the lyrics are really general and really vague and it almost seems like the song isn't really about anything in particular but obviously it does have references to you know very specific things but at the same time again it's not really narrating or describing anything and sometimes he's honestly kind of forcing the words to fit the metric it has the most twists and turns you know this this last song so the intro and the outro did remind me a lot of uh, when the wild wind blows and that's probably my biggest problem with this song and it's not really, not really that big of a deal anyway but I truly just love everything else about this song you know I love the main riff that sort of acoustic soft section um, and it even feels a bit shorter than it really is just nothing in the song is like unnecessary or you know just added there for length or whatever like it's really as long as it needs to be my overall thoughts on this album um, I think that with a few exceptions there's nothing too kind of unexpected or different um, for the most part again some sections in some songs actually remind me um, a little bit of the final frontier I think I already you know kind of went through that um, and I'm kind of salty I guess that the movie doesn't seem to have any writing credits here mostly because I think that maybe it was missing there maybe this album did need a bit more of that if I had to re-rank the albums with this one in mind I would probably say that this is this will be like number 11 so right above the self-titled album and right below the book of souls and again that's mainly because i just really like all of their discography so if i have to rank them you know i have to find reasons to put some below others so it you know it's not really a matter of an album being bad or not as great i, I listen to their albums all the time regardless i mean even the ones that i ranked the lowest um i listen to them sometimes and i enjoy them in sinjutsu there's just too many there's just too many songs that i'm not fully in love with to give it a higher ranking so that's pretty much it and i hope you found this video interesting and i'll see you in the next one bye